In our Trader Rundown today, Todd Bubba Horowitz is here to take a look at the market action, and hello to you. Good morning. So let's talk about this Trump rally. Is it losing any steam? No, it's, it can, we continue to fly higher. We've got, you know, listen, it's an, it's an illusion that things are going to all of a sudden be better as soon as Mr. Trump takes office. And of course, we know that we still have a lot of problems that have to be dealt with. We are extremely overvalued versus valuations of the market. I think we're at 19 or 20 times the S&P earnings. There's a lot of issues that have to be dealt with, and again, they will be dealt with, and I do think we're gonna have a lower market for parts of next year, but for right now, you, you can't really fade it because the market's going higher. There have been some individual stocks that have really moved, though, on comments from the president-elect. The biotechs yesterday slammed all over drug prices and some comments that he made. He's, look, you know, he's, they feel, everybody feels that he's in control. Everybody feels that he's running a business and he's now saying things that are having direct effect because if it, if it affects your industry, positive or negatively, it's going one way, Boeing two days ago. And all you care about is how do you trade that? That's all I care about is do we get some volatility? And right now, unfortunately, it really looks like we're already in holiday mode as far as a trader's concerned. I mean, volume is very, very light. Volatility continues to collapse, which is a little bit scary. Uh, and it should be a little bit scary for everybody because when that does happen, there usually is something behind that. But overall, it's really almost time. I mean, we've got the triple witching expiration next week, but really it already feels like we've already been through it. It's like really quiet right now. How do you trade the biotechs though after the move that we saw yesterday? Do you buy the biotechs? Do you put on an option strategy? What do you do here? Well, I think you look at them. I mean, you know, they get beaten down. I mean, XBI is one of the ETFs that has been you know, up and down between 60 and 66 like a yo-yo. And now, IBB, you know, and, and now down, I mean, you can look to, you know, any of these you can look to be a buyer of opportunity. Again, we want to look to buy when they're extended to the downside. We want to look to sell when they're extended to the upside. I mean, that's really the way you try to trade and you look for an opportunity because typically the moves that anticipated are usually too big and they will usually at least bounce back and give you an opportunity. What other opportunities are you seeing in this market? Well, I mean, I, I think you want to start to watch gold a little bit. I mean, it's been very, very ugly and it's been getting hammered on a regular basis. So I think the, there's one more leg down. I think then we turn from a bear market to a bull market in gold. I think you've got, uh, you, you want to look at, you know, oil. I think oil is well overpriced and well overvalued into this OPEC deal. I mean, I think we've gotten ahead of ourselves here. And I think you have to look at, you know, from a live stock point, you look at live hogs. I mean, they're way overpriced here. They have not been able to go down for one day for months. So it's really interesting what's going on here. You are into the commodity. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Great to be here.